All right, y'all. You can already tell by the title what we're gonna be getting into today. Happy motherfucking freaky Friday. Let me know what your plans are for this Friday. I don't really have no plan. I plan to eat some good shit. I plan to work out because I eat too much good shit. And other than that, man, I'm gonna just have a blessed motherfucking day. But let me know if you guys have any plans for the weekend. Y'all already know what this video is gonna be about. If you guys did not notice, Mr. For Christopher Sales, okay? He posted this to his Instagram, okay? The caption is a red heart emoji and the smiley face with hearts around it, guys. What is Chris trying to tell Leslie? Let me know in the comment section down below, man. Some people was like, oh, you petty, as you guys can see, you petty, but fire song. All right, drop that studio vlog, gang. Text her and ask how she's doing. Let me know in the comment section down below. Should Chris fuck up everything she got going on right now and send that text? <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on this channel, man. Make sure you DM me lit videos to react to and tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mama Teddy Ugly Joey still a hoe? Let's get right into this mother bitty yo. All right, man, so as you guys can see, a lot of people have something to say, okay? You can't tell me Leslie don't miss Chris too. You got to know that, man. We already talked about that. We know she not getting everything she needs from Mr. Vargas, because Mr. Vargas is focused on himself, which there's nothing wrong with that. But we all know that Leslie wants more, okay? She might really love this dude. Of course, they have a history, they have a past. That was her nigga at one point. So of course, you know, but at the same time, I just know that nigga's not giving her everything that she needs emotionally and all of that. I mean, I could say I know that. I really don't know that because I don't know them people, but it just seems like that nigga whole sway is focused on himself, all right? And like I said, that's no shade to him. I feel like a lot of people should focus on themselves before they even get involved with anybody. I feel like the majority of people's problems is because they focus on the relationship before focusing on themselves, whether that be healing, whether that be doing what they need to do to get in the financial status that they need, they wanna be in, or just have the life that they wanna create first, before, or, or being in the right mental state, emotional state, and stuff like that, before getting into a relationship. But that's neither here nor there. We are here to talk about Chris Lee, okay? It's a lot of people under this post that say they miss them. Look, miss them together. The chemistry was so real, all right? Just, some need, just needed some areas you both need to work on. There's also people throwing shade, talking about she been passed around the block, all this shit, you know? Um, <laughs> this nigga said, I'm gonna be dead by the time he drops. All right, people saying she for the streets, found her on the curb type shit, okay? So yeah, we do need new music, Chris. So y'all spam Chris, let them know where's the new music at and shit like that. So as you guys can see, man, a lot of people do miss their vibe. A lot of people miss seeing Chris and Leslie together. And I can't lie, I'm one of those people, okay? And I just feel like, like I said before, I just feel like they just had a genuine connection. I really, really still feel that way. I feel like that's something that you can't fake and that's something that you can't force. And that's something that a lot of people just naturally do not have. I do feel like it was just a fucked up situation that just happened and neither one of them were actually ready to take it there, to actually be serious, serious. I feel like they both had stuff to work on. It was fun while it lasted. I could say that, man, but let me know in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that Chris misses Leslie? And do you guys think that Leslie misses Chris? Do you think that Chris is just, you know, trying to be petty? Or do you think he actually does miss Leslie? All I'm gonna say is, you know what I'm saying, Josue, you better turn it up a notch, okay? Because if Chris send that text, or if he if he call, if he pick up that phone and call, it might be raps for you, brother. Okay, it might be raps for you, brother. And uh, <laughs> that's all I got to say. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I feel like there's a lot of factors when it comes to Leslie, why she might choose Josue over Chris. You know, a lot of people are saying that the mother has a lot to do with her decision, which I feel like is sad as fuck. I love my mother to death, don't get me wrong. Mama, if you're watching, I know you told me not to cuss as much. You told me to tone it down on the cussing and I cuss too damn much. I can't stop it, I'm sorry, but I love you. But I would never, ever, 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 as much as I love my mother, I would never allow her to dictate or make the choice for me of who I decide to date, okay? I'll take her opinion into consideration, 
but that's not gonna be the deciding factor because I can't help who I fall for and I can't I can't do some fake shit or being something that I don't wanna be in just to appease or please you or anybody for that matter. So also, you know, a lot of people are saying that Josue seems like he has a, you know, a stable career. He seems like he's going somewhere in life. He's just a bet in a better financial situation, career wise, <clears throat> stuff like that. But that doesn't make that person a better match for you. You know, talking about he only has one kid when Chris has four. There's a lot of people who have a lot to say, but since Chris wanna reminisce, we're gonna reminisce with Chris, okay? So I'm gonna be petty. Since Chris wanna be petty, I'm gonna be petty, all right? And if you continue watching this video, you're going to be indulging in the pettiness. So if you don't wanna be petty with me, click off of this video. It's Freaky Friday, Flashback Friday. So what we're gonna do is react to the Chanel video again, okay? So I reacted on my second channel, the Diamond Light 2.0. I never did one on this channel, of course, I already did one. But we're gonna reminisce with Chris. So if you guys are down, it's been a long time since I watched the Chanel video. It's been months, okay? It's been a while since we all have seen anything from Chris and Leslie, okay? Maybe, what, a couple months, two months, three months? How long has it been, guys? Without further ado, Mr. For Christopher Sales, Chanel featuring Miss Leslie Inez. Let's get it, y'all. If you got your lighters or your cell phones, you know, turn your lights on. You know what I'm saying wave them in the air like you just don't care. Yes, sir. <laughs> we see you, Mr. Nice Watch. Guys, let me know. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> Let me know how shocked you were when you guys seen this video for the first time. Spam the comments down below and let me know <laughs> on a shock meter from one to 10, 10 being the highest and one being the lowest. How shocked were you when you seen this video for the first time? Leslie making her grand entrance, you know, like I was flabbergasted to say the least, okay? <laughs> Last nigga fucked you over, girl. I know he's gonna miss it. Last nigga fucked you over. I know he missed it. And he missed it. Especially seeing Chris with Leslie. You know that nigga Josue missed it. So he had to come in, you know what I'm saying, and fuck some shit up. But to be fair, he couldn't have done that without Leslie at least being a little bit interested, you know? So I do feel like she cared for Chris, but once again, you know, sometimes history in that one toxic ex, you know what I'm saying? Like it's hard not to go back to. It's hard not to go back to. Do I feel like Leslie did use him? In ways, absolutely, but I definitely do feel like she had feelings for Chris too. You know, I feel like that's undeniable. Honestly, like from everything that I've seen, I genuinely think that in ways, yes, she did use Chris. All right, Chris used her too, let's be honest. Not in the same way, but they were both helping build each other, right? As far as their business. They should have stayed just business, but the shit got messy, you know? They start fucking around, they start actually liking each other, they start to fall for each other. I don't think that was in the plan, my nigga. But anyway, but keep I'm it going. Get it from your mama. Smell for you. Man, look, Hazel, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about you, Hazel, and you just do him like that. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. Ungrateful creatures. <laughs> that shit right there was like, okay. <laughs> okay, we go in there. Stay out my way, 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 way. 
<laughs> this shit was spicy as hell, yo. I ain't gonna lie, mucho caliente. <laughs> Y'all know whole sway was feeling some type of way, yo. Y'all know that. Take that Chanel off of you. You got and I got bitches. I drop all of my hoes for you. Tell me where you wanna. Tell me where you wanna go. Cause I've been seeing it for you. Money and me. Chanel bag you. BBS show. Cardi and watch. Hey. If they play with your name, bitch, we slide it. Fuck is you talking about? Chris was riding for her, y'all. Chris was riding for her. And we all thought she was riding for Chris, man. And I feel like that's the most disappointing thing of all of this, is Chris was really trying to slide, really trying to ride for her, you know? And in the end, she just, you know, she handled things a different way, I'ma just say that, you know? And that way disappointed all of us. So, uh, yeah, sad story. Come on. Toxic I'm with nobody else. Girl, I'm selfish. I don't want you fucking with nobody else. I'm selfish. He's letting you know, Leslie. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you fucking with nobody else. I'm selfish. You know, you have one job. <laughs> you have one job. To be fair, like I said, man, they both were single, but, you know, they weren't doing single shit, they were doing couple shit, still being single, still not having no title. And the waters can definitely get murky when the lines were not defined, you know? It is what it is, y'all. You looking blind now. Tell them that pussy mine now. Because I beat it out the frame when I'm in it. Trying to touch your soul when I'm in it. Take that Chanel off of you. Take that Chanel off of you. Okay, okay, Chris Lee. Hey man, look, <clears throat> I'ma just say it was nice to reminisce with Chris, all right? It was nice to reminisce with Chris. Only Chris knows whether or not he misses Leslie, but I know Leslie misses Chris. I know Leslie misses Chris. And if I were to guess, I would say Chris misses Leslie too. Even after this, of course, people are gonna be like, Chris, don't ever talk to her again. Don't ever waste your time with her again, and this and that and the other. But I genuinely wanna know what you guys feel. Do y'all feel like they should ever like, maybe even just be friends in the future? Or do you guys think that what Leslie did, um, you know, exposing him and shit like that, do you guys think that that's too far gone? I'm gonna say it's not too far gone. And the reason why I say that is because how many times have, you know, we been done wrong, maybe even worse than what Leslie did, all right? And still came back from that with somebody, you know? Now I'm not trying to say that Chris won't have some trust issues and you won't have to build that trust up again. All I'm saying is I don't think it's impossible. So it may be way later down the line, I don't know, or it may be never. But um, yeah, only time will tell. I wanna know from you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Spam the comments. Do you guys think that there will, there will ever be a Chris Lee reunion? Not as far as them being together or talking again, but at least like being cordial, being friends, or maybe even making a sit down video together, you know, letting people know how they feel at that current time. Let me know if that's something that you guys would wanna see, or if you guys just never wanna see Chris Lee again. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weekend. Um, yeah, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to be notified when I upload on this channel. DM me the video to react to. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell an angel. I'm tell you, Uncle Joey Stiller. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Yo, I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.